Hey witches, welcome to my channel. It is Boss Bitch Waleska here from By Waleska, where magic and spirit come together. Today's video is all about a collective reading. We're diving into situations that you might be going through and the signs that you may have been receiving, but that you probably are not noticing or ignoring, because that could be the case too. Let's also explore the outcomes if you choose or we choose to embrace these signs from the universe. So let's jump right in, my fellow witches. Just a quick note before we start. These readings are general, so not everything might match your vibe or resonate with you at this point. If you feel a connection, show me some love, some love with a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Your support means the world to me. Remember, the future isn't set in stone. There are countless possibilities ahead based on your choices. So that being said, let's begin. Spirits and guides reveal the situations our community faces together. Show the signs and guidance that source, spirit, or the divine has sent, which we might have missed. Unveil the potential outcomes if we embrace this guidance. Thank you, spirits. Okay, let's begin. Let's see what we got here. Here, first we have five of pentacles, which talks about turmoil. Here we get loss, and here we get a reverse card that talks about dominion and it's the two of wands in this spread that we are doing today the first card represents the general situation that we might be going through the card over here in the center is the overlook guidance or the signs that we might be getting from spirit and the divine and we are not paying attention to or that we might have missed and here it's the final outcome with um the final outcome, if we take into consideration all the signs that Spirit has been sending us. Now let's dive in into the meaning of these cards. Let's start with a message from our first card, the Five of Cups. When we believe that we have a chance at success and that achieving a particular goal is possible for us, we are fueled by incredible energy. On the other hand, when we believe that what we want is way out of our league. It's like a black cloud is hovering over our heads and we are unable to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Five of Cups, it's all about grieving. A lost home, a lost family, the lost sense of stability, a failed project. Even when now it feels like there's no hope, this card invites you to stop looking at the rubble at the destruction around you, at the rubble of the broken dreams that you have seen so far, and look at the look the other way, where there's the light of the full moon literally shining on us. While we see a lot of obstacles ahead and only trauma and sorrow, the Five of Cups is inviting us to grieve and and to to grieve loss and burn bridges while understanding the importance of owning our truth, accepting that what we have right now, it is what it is, and seeing the light ahead. This card, it's an invitation to heal. Our next card is the Five of Pentacles. We all have something in our life that has been a constant, something that has always been the same, something that we rely on because it's always been there. Let it be a friend, a situation, a location. We try so hard to keep things unchanged, to keep them constant, to maintain the status quo without change because let's be honest, change can be scary 
the thing is that the only constant in life is change. And many of those changes may not be pleasant, like financial, financial stability, destruction, loss. This card shows abrupt change and not exactly the kind that we'd like to have. It shows a little girl that has lost her home. She's about to be thrown into a whole new reality away from everything that's familiar to her. We may be going through a financial loss and navigating a period of uncertainty and stability and a lot of fear of the unknown, like this little girl. But even in the pain and fear that our current situation makes us feel, we know that there's a solution out there for our situation. Yes, we may not be in our best moments right now, but we shouldn't lo lose hope. There is, this isn't the end. Let's open our eyes and be aware of the signs that the universe and spirits and ancestors and source are constantly sending us. Woo, that was hard. Last but not least, we have this card, which is the two of wands and it's reversed. We're going to talk a little bit about when a card appears as reversed as this one, but let's Let's talk about the, the meaning, what it's telling us, the message of this card. This card invites us to take action. We already have the knowledge and the tools we need to move forward. I don't know if you guys are like me, but I always tend to feel that I'm not ready for the, for the situation. It's like I always need the next course, the next um, webinar, the next, the next tool, the next whatever. It's like we're giving ourselves reasons not to move forward. This card right here, this gorgeous girl, it's telling us that it's time for us to move forward because we have everything we need. It's not true that we're not ready. It's not true that we need to take this other course. Uh -uh 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 -uh. This is the time to move forward. Women and the so-called minorities, I say so-called because we're literally legion. We are so used to take the beating in silence. And this isn't the time for making ourselves small. Look at this girl. She's anything but small. She's anything but humble. She's amazing and she knows it. She's powerful and she knows it. So she's taking charge of her life and she's taking possession of what rightfully belongs to her. So this isn't a time to make ourselves small just because the world has told us that we are second rate, not second, third rate citizens. Sometimes even we have been even stripped of our humanity. Even then we finally know the truth. We finally know our worth. This card invites us to walk our path with confidence. The confidence that we know what we want, what we want and we know what to do because we have been trained for this. We have been training for this. We not just have the knowledge, but the skills to do it. So kick that imposter syndrome to the curb, so to speak. And also start speaking up. Be unapologetic. Eso de calladita te ves más bonita, that's not true. That is not true. You belong, we belong, so we do not need to ask anyone for permission to take what is rightfully ours. So this card is also inviting us to communicate our needs, wants, and ideas with clarity and without apologies. We need what we need. We said what we said, period. It's also a time to heal our wounds, a time for healing, to take pride of the journey that we have traveled so far, and also to take pride in the, even the smallest achievements, even the smallest achievements. Celebrate every step. This is your time. This is our time. This is our time, which is. Before I leave, I'd like to tell you a little bit about the reverse cards. In today's reading, 
are two of ones appeared in reverse. So it means that what it describes is in an early or developing stage. So that's it for today, which is hope that this reading resonated with you. If it did, please give me a little thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Let me know if you want me to continue creating content like this one and let me know in the comments too that if you liked this particular reading. So thank you for watching. See you next time, witches.